Howdy folks, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen. You are looking gorgeous today. I've got a barbecue right there that needs some loving. And in our barbecue series, we're gonna follow it up right now with a dessert, it's gonna be so good. We're gonna barbecue some fruit with a delicious, simple mojito cream. Check this out. You'll see already that I've got a pineapple there. I've taken the skin off and got a complimentary hat free of charge, which is all good. It won't take long to barbecue the pineapple. It needs your full attention. So we'll concentrate on the mojito cream first of all. This is some double cream that I've already whipped up. Because it's quite warm out here, I wanted to do that inside, get out of the way, because you might have trouble thickening it if it's hot. Okay, so just do that first of all. And we're gonna add some sugar in. That goes in there like so. I've got myself a nice little metal spoon. We're just gonna work it through there, get it all nice and dissolved and integrated into our cream. When you first add in the sugar, it's going to sound quite grainy. What you want to do is keep mixing it through until that sugar's all dissolved in there. It's going to give it that real sweetness edge, which is going to counter our rum. I just said rum. Oh, yes. Really well. I've got myself a vanilla pod now. You can use vanilla extract if you haven't got access to a pod, and not like you're in a space shuttle or something like that. So you just want to make a nice incision down there, get all of those lovely seeds out of there. So I'm just running the knife right down the pod, scraping up all of that vanilla goodness smells so good don't do that with a sharp knife like i just did i'm very naughty but want to push these vanilla seeds right in like so that vanilla flavor going in there really work those seeds in there so it almost looks like a sort of pepper going in there but trust me that is smelling vanilla tastic i'm back home on my beach licking a vanilla ice cream right now we were turning it mojito cream style so grab yourself a lime a little bit of lime zest straight on there not too much about like the zest of half a lime if you're enjoying this recipe guys want to have a go check out the description box down below for the full method and ingredients list so I'm just chopping up some fresh mint, only about one or two leaves for the moment. Again, we're gonna come up with loads of those right at the end. We'll just get that into the cream too. We'll work this through for the moment and then we'll add our rum. Now you can add as much or as little as rum as you like. Please don't take my advice. We could get a bit carried away because if you put too much alcohol in it, it's gonna be very hard to get that flavor back. Just add a little bit at a time until you're happy or well, you might be drunk. Fantastic, our cream is coming together really well now. Mojito styly, add that rum in as I say, about a tablespoon. So maybe just go with a cap full at first. In that goes, <sighs> naughty. So now it's time to slice and barbecue up our pineapple. So all I'm doing is taking some nice wedges out of our pineapple. I love the taste of fresh pineapple, but barbecued, my friends, trust me, when it caramelizes, get these lovely lines on it, it's gonna taste even better. So slice it up. So with our pineapple slices, all cut into nice wedges. Remember, it's got a naughty little bum in it. We wanna sort of cut around that a little circle. Da-da, you've got lovely fresh pineapple slices ready to barbecue up. So we've got ourselves a lovely hot barbecue here. The coals are nice and white. I'm gonna actually gonna barbecue the pineapple in batches just so I've got a bit more control on it. And I've got a cheeky little idea for you. If you've got the fresh pineapple, why don't you soak it in a little bit of rum for that extra naughty spank? Keep your eye on this. It's only gonna take a couple of minutes either side, char it, flip it over, and serve it with that lovely cream. So we'll just lay them on top like so, looking great, all sort of staggered, the charred pineapple of loving. That would be amazing also on its own, but let's join it with our mojito cream, a nice big dollop of that on the side. Just sit it here. Fantastic, that's on there. And the natural heat from that pineapple already in there is gonna ooze that cream and spread it all around your plate in any time. So grab yourself the your lime again, another little shaving of that on there, let it fall into the cream and all over the pineapple and then just finish it off with another sprinkling of fresh mint. That, my friends, is a colour fest on a plate. So really hope you give this recipe a go, guys. If you do, send a picture to at my virgin kitchen and at video jug food. We will retweet it so much. You will be in love with us in Twitter heaven and in taste heaven too. So give this one a go, guys, and we'll see you again next time. Yeah,